In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve log equations, and I'm going to give you guys two examples, and I will also give you guys two questions for you guys to try. This is the first one that I'm going to demonstrate. As we can see on the left hand side, we have 3 log base 8, right? The first thing that we have to do is we must combine them together into just one logarithm. So we have to use the log properties, okay? And if you look at everything in front of the log, it is just no, one in front, right? This is one, this is one, and this is technically minus one right here. So that's good. If you have like other numbers such as two, you have to be sure bring the two to the inside and becomes the exponent. But we don't have to do that in here. We can just go ahead and write down log base eight. The base stays the same, okay? And I will open the big parentheses. I see I have some plus, some subtraction. I know the inside will be a fraction. So let's get the fraction bar ready. And this is the easy way to count my logarithms. For example, this three right here, look at what you have in front. This is positive. That means the three will go to the top. And then this x, we have a plus in front, right? So this will also go to the top. And we will have the three times the x, both on the top. And then for the third part right here, we have x plus three. This is one thing instead of this log. But then in front, we have a minus. This will tell us to bring the x plus 3 to the denominator. And that's it. This is how we can do it in one step. Okay, Combine all three logs into just one. And then this is equal to 1 over 3. So we can proceed. Because we have a single logarithm with the x inside, it's equal to a number. And what we are going to do is we will pretend both sides are exponents, and the base right here is 8. That means I will have to do 8 to this power, and then I will do 8 to this power. The left hand side is easy because 8 and this will cancel each other out. And we'll just have 3x over x plus 3. That's it. And then on the right hand side, do this carefully. This is 8 to the 1 third power, and the result for that will be. A 2. Why? Because if you look at this, a to the 1 third power, this is the same as saying take the cube root of a, and we know 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so that means the cube root of a is 2. Be sure you work this out as a power, okay? a to the 1 third power. And now what? Well, this is just an equation with fractions. We can just multiply both sides by the denominator, which is x plus 3 here. And we will also multiply this by x plus 3, right? So that this and that will cancel. And we see this is just 3x. And on the right hand side, we of course distribute the 2 into the parentheses. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is plus 6. And now what? Of course, we can subtract 2x on both sides. Cancel this out. And we have 3x minus 2x. That's just x. And this is equal to 6 right here. And that's it. And in fact, this is the correct answer. x is equal to 6. You should always plug the number back into the very original, into all the x. You have to be sure, instead of the logarithms, you cannot end up with a negative value. Let's see. When you plug in 6, first part doesn't have x, so that's good. Plug in 6 in here, this is log base 8 of past the 6. That's good, past the inside. Plug in 6 into this x. 6 plus 3 is 9, positive 9. So that's also good. This is the quick, legit check. And everything inside gives you positive, you know for sure this will be the correct answer. And now let's check on the next one. All right, here's the second example. And this time, we only have two logarithms on the left hand side. And still, we have to combine them into just one. And we have addition in between, right? And the good thing is that they are both of log base 2. We know we can just put down one single log base 2 and then open the big parentheses. Once again, because it's addition inside, that means I have to put this down inside and multiply with the second thing inside, right? And use parentheses accordingly. I will have to write this down as 3x minus 1 times the other one, which is x plus 1, like this. This is just the log property. And this right here it is still equal to 5. And now, we can either multiply this out first or get rid of the log first. Up to you. I would like to get rid of the log first. 
This is log base 2 and the x is inside, right? I'm going to pretend both sides are the exponents and the base right here is 2. That means I will do 2 to this power and we also do 2 to this power so that, you see, the left hand side is easy. This and that will cancel out. And let me write this down. We will just have 3x minus 1 times x plus 1. And then for the right hand side, you have to work this out carefully. This right here means we have 2 to the 5th power. And 2 to the 5th power will give us 32. And once again, this right here is because 2 raised to the 5th power, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, it will give us 32. Okay? And this is what we have. You know this is going to be a quadratic equation, right? Be sure you multiply this out first. Make this equal to 0, and then do the factoring after that. So let's go ahead and do it. So 3x times x, that will give us 3x squared. 3x times 1, that's 3x. Negative 1 times x, this is negative x. 3x combined with negative x, that will give us plus 2x. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And this is equal to 32. And now we can just subtract 32 on both sides. This way we can get a 0 that we want on the right hand side, right? And we will have 3x squared plus 2x and minus 33, and this will give us 0. And now we have to factor this out. Let's go ahead and draw the tic tac toe boxes. And to get 3x squared, we know we must have 3x and x, and to get negative 33. I'm going to put on 11 here and negative 3 here. How do I know if this is correct? Well, let's see. 3x times negative 3, that's negative 9x. And then 11 times x, that's 11x. Combining negative 9x and 11x, that will give us positive 2x. So that's great. So we can put this down right here. We know the factoring for that is going to be 3x plus 11 times x minus 3. It's equal to 0. And we can go ahead and break this, right? We can set 3x plus 11 equals to 0. And this is the other one, x minus 3 equals to 0. And then for this part, we can just go ahead and subtract 11 on both sides. And we get 3x is equal to negative 11. And then divide both sides by 3. And we get the first answer, which is x is equal to negative 11 over 3. It seems to be correct, right? The second one, we have plus 3 on both sides. Cancel, cancel. And this right here is x is equal to positive 3. It seems like this is the second answer. All right, now we have two of them. And let me tell you, in fact, one of them is actually fake. Which one? I think you guys will tell me it's this one. And your reason will be because this is negative 11 over 3. Yes, this right here is the fake answer. However, the reason that this is the fake answer is because when you plug in this back to the original equation, you will end up with a negative instead of a log. Let me show you. So, Right here, let me just plug in this part into the first part of the equation. So we will have log base 2, and then we have the 3 times x, right? So this is 3 times the x is negative 11 over 3, and then minus 1 after that. So we have minus 1, like this. And let me just write on the first part, because the inside, 3 and 3 will cancel, right? And we will have negative 11 minus 1, that's negative 12. And you have log base 2, like this. When you plug in this number, negative 11 over 3, into the first part of the equation here, you will end up with log base 2, and the inside is a negative value. This is not good, right? Therefore, this is not correct. And what you have to do is, you plug in 3 into this. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8, plus the 8, that's good. Plugging 3 into here, 3 plus 1 is 4, and that's plus the 4, that's good. x is equal to 3 is the correct answer, okay? Be sure you get rid of the fake answer, you only present the correct, the legitimate answer. 
And now I'm going to give you guys two questions for you guys to try. And seriously, take some time to actually work them out first, and I will have the answer after the song. Mm -hmm.